How did you uh, get into uh, middle grade to start with, with the beautiful usual suspects, which is available now, esteemed audience? Check out my review at middlegradeninja.com. I loved it naturally, uh, and you're <laughs> going to love it too. How did you How did you decide that middle grade was also something you wanted to work on? Um, so I have two, two boys uh, now, I guess two young men, but at the time, two boys. Um, I think they were like, how old were they? Uh, 10 and 11 at the time. And, uh, and I was trying to engage them as readers. And so I, uh, so one, I wanted to engage them as readers to chronicle some of their act, their antics, because uh, my two sons, they're just known for their antics that they're off in school. And there is no, there is no record of, uh, of, of, <laughs> of their antics. So let me, let me sort of create that. And so I decided to, to do some fictionalized, uh, uh, and uh, uh, f fictionalized version of their antics they were pulling off in school. And one of the things I was doing at the time is I was also, because uh, by this point I was no longer a scientist, so I had much more free time on my hands. Um, and uh, I was shadowing them through school by being a sub at whatever school they were in. And so, but uh, one of the class classes at the school they were in was called the special ed class. And I really sort of fell in love with that class. Um, and so, and so that was another thing I wanted to, to just sort of pay, pay a, a, a give a nod to was the fact of, you know, this class, even though they've, you know, it's a bunch of students who've basically been written off as troublemakers, as um, emotionally delinquent or whatever they were calling them. Uh, I was just like, like, no, this is a room full of like brilliant students. Uh, and, and so I just wanted to, to sort of do something to sort of speak to, to their brilliance. So, so with Usual Suspects, it is all of that. It's thinly veiled antics of my children. It is my first forays as a teacher, uh, what it looked like for me as a teacher. And there was also uh, me chronicling, you know, the, the lives of, uh, of these students. And so, uh, and I finished that book in uh, 2012. And, that, and, and I did all of that so I could sort of, the idea of uh, a Walter Mosley type crime novel for children, <laughs> right? So I had all these things going on in my head uh, that I wanted to sort of bring to bear for usual suspects and then present it to my son to see if it, he would find it entertaining enough to read. And so uh, that's, why the, my, that's why the book is dedicated to my oldest son because he has declared himself my, my original editor. Uh, and so he was the first editor of that project. So, so there you go. Um, and that was in uh, 2012, but even when I finished the book in 2012, um, I don't know, my gut told me this book is dead on arrival. The, 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 there's no room in the, in the world for, for this book right now. It's, it's a middle grade detective novel, it has two young black boys as the lead. Uh, there's no way the marketplace uh, is going to embrace this book. And that had been pretty much my experience, you know, like I said, by this point I've been in in uh, publishing for 10 years. I know the uphill battle I'd been having for each and every story of mine that was getting published, you know, was a slugfest, usually with the editors, uh, to convince them that, no, I don't need to change the race of my characters in order to tell the story. You know, so things like that. So I was just like, no, oh, this book is going to be a, whew, a huge slugfest, uh, you know. So, I, so I, in a lot of ways, we just consider it dead on arrival. But uh, that, some things happened and I had to, you know, I got distracted by other things going on in my life. And so was, when we came back around in 2016, me and my agent were just like, all right, we got to gotta send this book out. But by this point, um, I shifted in the industry. So like things like the We Need Diverse Books movement has had now happened. And so now there's a, uh, now there's a demand for like books like this. And so now, you know, I'm like, oh, well, now we're, I've gone from a book that was dead on arrival to a book poised for an easy sale, which is what happened. So uh, that helped, uh, you know, and that, thus history happened and the book sold and here we are. That was post-2012 that editors were trying to get you to change the race of your characters? Yes. What a world we live in. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll move on, but uh, thank God for, for everyone who participated and we need diverse books. It was Absolutely. needed and it's still needed. Keep going. <laughs> um, so, okay, so you get uh, uh, usual suspects out there and then at that point, do you catch the middle grade bug? 
Uh, if by bug you mean I signed a two book deal, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a two book deal with an option for a third. So uh, I got the bug, 